Dr. Geraldine Richmond has been honored by U.S. presidents. She's traveled the world, advancing the careers of women in science in developing countries, and is now being considered by the U.S. Senate. I am so honored to discuss my nomination to serve as Undersecretary for Science and Energy at the Department of Energy. As President as Biden's Secretary nominee Secretary for Undersecretary for Science at the Department of Energy. Science is a human endeavor. And at the center of it all. Science for me has been a vehicle for doing so many things. And I love the research and I love the curiosity, but it did, if it didn't have the educational component or the students involved, it wouldn't be enough. I mean, for 35 years, her home base has always been Oregon. Oh, yeah. She's the presidential chair in science and professor of chemistry at the University of Oregon in Eugene. Uh, we're now in the physics building. But I'm in the and you might say, when this award-winning chemist is in her lab doing research with her students, to the wet lab. she's in her element. Uh, into the wet lab and then uh, where they make all the samples. This is where Ashley got her sample. That's also been special to me, too, to be here in Oregon and also and it kind of fits with the brand of our laboratory, is that we are very interested in water and water issues. Her element, the surface of water. Because it's just so key to anything environmental. Whatever is in our water has to first get through that surface. She's sampling yes. something that's a millionth of an, an inch in size. And in the Richmond Laser Lab. This is what we'll be measuring for the next um, hour or so. Jerry's students use laser beams in a complicated experiment. The exposition is 5.98. To see how the surface of water interfaces with oil. Just teeny tiny little droplets. It took about two years to set up this experiment that you see here. One of the things that we're about to put on the laser is a standard surfactant known as AOT, and it was used really heavily in the Deepwater Horizon oil spill back in 2010. Their goal? to help find non-toxic ways to disperse oil spills. I'm very proud of my students. I'm so proud of my students, every single one of them. This experiment is really a tour de force. It's a very difficult experiment. And the fact that they make it work um, is just phenomenal to me. Jerry's journey into science started like the well-known story of another famous young woman who had big dreams on a farm in Kansas. Far, far away. But instead of adventures in Oz, Jerry's started in her entrepreneur mom Lucille's beauty salon. And the hairspray could kill any bird that was flying by <laughs> and could also hold a woman's hair together during any Kansas tornado. She talked about her mom as an inspiration in her 2018 acceptance speech for the American Chemical Society's highest honor, the Priestley Medal. So like me, my mother also had no concept of a science career, yet she was the first person to introduce me to chemistry, pointing out ingredients on hair products that she knew were in the periodic table. That introduction and Jerry's natural curiosity to ask why eventually led her to her undergraduate degree in chemistry from Kansas State, and then her graduate degree at UC Berkeley, where she met her physicist husband, Steve Kavan, on the first day of class. They'd been together for 45 years. From Berkeley, Jerry and Steve headed to Philadelphia, where he went to work at Bell Labs. And I wasn't sure what I wanted to do after graduate school, and so I decided to go teach. She became the first tenure-track female faculty member of chemistry at Bryn Mawr College. I found out at that point that I loved research more than I knew I did. In 1985, they both took positions at the University of Oregon, where Jerry could expand the laser research she began at Bryn Mawr. It was just such an attraction to be able to come here, but also um, the environmental consciousness. Yeah. Photos of Steve yeah. and their two sons, Brian and Dustin, are nestled yep. lovingly between dozens and dozens of certificates of achievement and awards that fill Jerry's office located inside her lab at the U of O. That's my family with President Obama. Yeah, yeah. I wouldn't be where I was without them. So to have them there was great. In 2016, President Obama bestowed Jerry with the National Medal of Science the highest scientific honor presented by the U.S. government. 
It honored not only all the research that we've done, but also all of my outreach activities, too. And that outreach is something she's passionate about, promoting diversity within the field of science. At this point, we've worked with over 25,000 uh, women in the U.S. and around the globe to help advance in their careers. And so I'm, Through a program I'm called about. COACH, a grassroots organization she founded in 1997. We can't, as climate change or anything, clean water, whatever it is, we can't operate with only 50% of the, uh, the talent being used. We have to be at 100%. It's based on and that's what President comes. Biden is counting on, and, uh, a full-court press nominating Dr. Jerry Richmond to help lead the effort to fight climate change. Nominations are Dr. Geraldine Richmond to be the under as the undersecretary for science for the DOE. We can't do science without good people. It's a calling, a challenge she's ready to take on. I have kids. <laughs> you know, you have kids. Uh, we all care about them. I care about my students' lives. And, um, and, uh, you know, to have your, your uh, children or young people say to you, look what you've left us, um, it's really hard to accept. So you have to do something about it. What your concentration? Are you down in the 20? And that brings us back to the lab and Jerry's students. Yeah. Grad student Connor Jones is also conducting laser experiments to better understand how molecules of water bond differently at the surface than underneath. Yeah, yeah he's doing all right. If confirmed by the Senate, her new job with the Biden administration will mean she has to step away from her role at U of O. But she'll keep in touch with her students as she has with so many over three decades. She's going to make a for an impact history for the whole entire world. She's been a great role model for a lot of young women who haven't seen themselves in these positions of power in science. It's a tough one to, to go leave from the university that I love. Uh, and Oregon that I love to go work on a bigger scale to help Oregon and the rest of the nation uh, on climate change. But Oregon is now part of Jerry Richmond's chemistry. It's a wonderful and special place to uh, be from and to come back to. And that's a bond. I'll be back. That can't be broken. <laughs> you betcha, I'll be back. I'll be back.